Okay, good morning. Sandy Graham of uh, Digital Nomad Traveler in uh, Dominican Republic. I want to talk today about uh, USB wireless modems. I'm, uh, I'm living in a place called uh, Montiano right now, which is a little village in, in uh, Dominican Republic close to Sasua, which is quite a tourist trap area. So it has two different things going on. I can go to there and do certain tourist infrastructure things, but here I'm more localized. Um, I'm gonna make a road trip through the USA starting in, I don't know, March, April of 2012. And uh, I have a blog called hobotraveler.com. So my major website is called hobotraveler.com where I write a daily blog. But all of these come together on uh, whether it's Digital Nomad Traveler or My Orland, Indiana or My Sosua. All these websites come together and uh, write the articles merged together to show up in this uh, travel newsletter blog that's published daily. So this video ends up showing there. Um, well, Digital Nomad Traveler is, is f a focus on trying to fix, show you how to travel in uh, mobily worldwide. I've used uh, USB wireless modems in about, uh, I don't know, six or seven countries now. Um, a USB modem, but I want to, I want to, I need to buy one in the USA. I'm presently on one, using one here in the uh, Dominican Republic. So I'm making a transition. I, I've signed up for these things in different countries. They're quite confusing and it's really like talking to a bunch of uh, scam con men to try to buy these things because um, you have a lot of employees that um, pretend they understand the thing. Really they don't care. They just want you to buy it and get out of their face, right? So it, it's whether it's an American or a Dominican Republic person, it's pretty much the same. Um, or I'm buying one in Uganda and MTN. I have yet to be in a country where anybody, I, I only can find about one in 20 employees that actually even has a clue. So you basically have to walk into a store then look for the one employee. I'm gonna have to do the same thing in the USA. Now, easier to do in English than in Spanish, so. But let me, uh, I'm gonna pull the camera out and I'm gonna show you what a USB modem is because this is kind of ambiguous at best as to what, what I'm talking about. Okay, I got this thing set up on a tripod, so forgive me for the, for all that thing. And I, I'm, I'm probably gonna be about the same as USA. There's no electricity right now here in this hotel. It's quite funny because uh, I'm on a USB modem. I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, is, whoa, this is weird. Okay, this is a USB modem. Okay, what that means is it goes into a USB slot. This one's called a Claro. It costs about $45 a month. It gives me about, for 75 cents US, I get 50 megs of download. For $1.50, I get 100 megs. So that's not very much. I mean, I, I need about uh, 300 to... Uh, I, need, I would need about 300 to really be happy. So I mean, I, I get three gigs of transfer here um, a month. Everything's all these like fine print things. How much transfer, how much information you get. So this goes into the modem and then what it does is it connects to a cell tower. And uh, see if I can show you on this computer maybe quickly. On the thing it has it has the bars telling you how many bars you got. So basically, the more bars I got, it's just like a cell phone. You can connect, disconnect, and everything, but it's a cell phone connection, really. So it's a cell, t I'm connecting to cell tower, so I'm always having to be within range of the cell tower. I'm gonna have to do the same thing for the USA. Sorry about all the lights and stuff, but this is a, um, I'm on an inverter right now. It's about the same as what I'm going to do when I'm in the USA on the thing. I'll be in a 12-volt car system that converts it to 110 probably. And uh, hopefully, but I'll wash everything with batteries. Basically, I've done this for long enough to know that I don't really want direct electricity. What I want is to be battery operated. So I'll go to a 12-volt battery system in a way and kind of get rid of the uh, 110 system but I'll hopefully have two or three batteries in the vehicle that 
will stay charged up and then um, see the then I'll charge the, the computer okay now what what the goal here is is for me to buy the same type of device in here and in, in the United States I'm going to need about uh, somewhere between three I have a I have a program that has uh, let me see if I can show you quickly I have a little program called uh, US uh, let's see what the name of this thing is I have a program that is called uh, networks that uh, networks that tells, tells me how much bandwidth I use a day so I, I know that I use between 300 megs and say 600 megs a day um, and that's just light duty use I mean that's just uh, using calling on Skype and uh, uploading these videos and stuff I can get by on three gigs a day so the, the program on USB modem on US I'm, one of the ones I'm trying to check out today is Virgin US okay so I want to talk about find uh, first I, I want to find a store in the United States what's what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I guess anywhere in the world I have to find a store so they have this page on finding a store on Virgin Mobile USA it says Virgin Mobile USA.com I t typed in my uh, zip code and then I've got a list of like Walmart and all these places where you can get a deal well this is not where I want to get a deal I want to get a brain so I'm going to go to Radio Shack and I'm going to actually call Radio Shack from here and then I'm going to probably maybe call this Buzz Wireless or something from here using my Skype connection okay well bottom line is in this whole game here it's about a brain and finding a brain I call them smart people. When you find, when you're looking for smart people, you you have to be judgmental. You can't basically treat people like equals. You got to treat them like idiots, and you got to say, hey, you know, get rid of this one, get rid of this one, and get right to the person. Treat them politely, but get past all the the crap. They're going to try to just give you. Everybody wants to to somehow be a brain, and they're not. Come on, I'm I may be smarter at one thing and others, but the the goal here is to find somebody that um, gives you sufficient information to teach you how to do this. I'm trying to get this simplified for you. This USB modem is confusing. It's just to access the internet over a cell tower. Anywhere there's a cell tower in America, you can have access. You put this modem in the side of your computer, boom, you have internet access. But um, it's not that complicated once you see it, how it works, but it's confusing in just words on the internet. Now, this is why I'm making a video. Okay. So today, I'm going to start the search for internet access, um, domestically USA, that I can use in all, all states in the USA, that I should be able to use at a reasonable price. I'm probably figuring I'm going to spend $150 a month. That's my budget. That's, uh, so that's about four dollars a day. It's going to be my highest budget cost probably on this trip. Uh, but I want to put on some of these. Uh, I have a, a webcam, so if I can get some unlimited access, I can have this webcam as I drive down the road, and you can see all the places I'm at, and I could uh, show you live webcam as I travel around the USA. And what I'll do is, what's going to be nice, I can park my van. I can park a van, point it at something interesting, turn it on, and. Uh, just let it sit there, lock up the van, and uh, walk away. I have a problem here because I, I don't have any way to. Uh, I have to have somebody to protect the webcam all the time or look at it. Okay, Andy, digital nomad traveler, also hobotraveler.com. If you want to subscribe and follow along on the venture, go to my website and uh, type in your name and address and uh, sign up by email to receive daily uh, missives. Thank you.